Well, hello there. Welcome to the Obi Thorn Alliance. I'm Jacob. I'm Luke. And in today's video, we're doing so. What have you been watching in June? If you like the sound of that, like and subscribe. Comment down what you've been watching, and let's get into it. So it's been a busy June. There's been a lot of big releases. I feel like I've watched more things this June or than any other month this year. What about you? You feel like you watched a lot of things? Yes. Lots and lots of releases. So. Let's kick it off. What's the, the best movie you've seen this month? Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse would have to be it. Yeah, what what makes this so good? Love the animation, love the story, love everything about it. And even though of that cliffhanger, I've accepted it and gone well. I'm really looking forward to the next movie. Yeah, I, I really, really like it. If you want to see our full review, you can find that on the channel. Uh, what's the best uh, streaming or TV limited series you've seen? On Apple TV Plus, a show named Physical, what is set in the 80s about this woman wanting to be a Pilates instructor. Really interesting take on how back in the 80s, uh, women and people were so struck about body image it's interesting it's such an original take because the character is so much in her mind and and as the audience we get to hear or listen to her thoughts it's quite an interesting com concept and the cool thing about it is that it's only going to have three seasons that apple seem to be doing a lot lately yeah apple do definitely love the three season yeah. model um the more you talk about that show the more i'm intrigued about watching it and again the three season model really makes me excited about it so what's the best movie i've watched this month i would have to say it's flash i really enjoyed the flash can't disagree with that yeah it's equally as good as um spider-man uh, <laughs> but you know i wanted to be a little bit different than yourself and i felt that i'd lean more towards the live action opposed to the animated realm when it comes to liking things so again you can check out a review of that on the channel the best show i've watched i i reckon the idol it's only three episodes in. Haven't seen it. Uh, it can be found on Binge in Australia. You know, it stars uh, The Weeknd, famous singer, actually, in the Guinness Book of Records, is considered the most popular singer in the world because of the amount of streamings he gets per month. And uh, then it features Lily Rose Depp, which is Johnny Depp's daughter, She and she is the main character. It's very hard to summarise this show. Only three episodes in, but basically she's a famous musician that's struggling with mental health issues, drug issues, sex issues, and she's now kind of getting taken advantage of by someone who in the show description is considered a cult leader, which is The weekend, and he's basically kind of manipulating her and trying to help her with her career, but it's a bit sinister. But this show's really artsy, the music in it's phenomenal, so I'm really, really liking it. How many episodes are going to be in the show? I don't know, actually. I've not looked that up, okay. but I reckon... I reckon it's going to be sub 10. You know, you don't see many shows, especially with big budget one hour episodes go over 10. So I reckon it's going to be around that 9 to 10 episode mark. I'll have to look that up. Um, so there are favourites. What are some other things you've been watching? The Crowded Room that's also on Apple TV Plus starring Tom Holland and really enjoying the mind games and it's a really different show. Haven't watched the latest episode, but I really like the mind games. Mm. I've been watching, I've also been watching that, but another show, I've been watching Ted Lasso. So you're not finished the last season. No. I finished it. We talked about Apple TV having this three season formula. Mm. And I liked the ending. I really, really loved it. The only reason I didn't say it was my favorite show is because it's, it's not new. It kind of, you know, it, it was already liked before this season, so I wanted to go with something a bit different. But Ted Lasso season three was phenomenal. So I think you should, when you get a chance, finish it off. I will, yes. What else have you been watching? A show on Amazon Prime called The Citadel. What the concept is, this organisation have more power over the world than the CIA, the FBI. It's also made by the Russo brothers as well. And it's a really short, sharp show that you can watch in six episodes. It does end on a cliffhanger, but there is a season two. And if you like Mission Impossible or James Bond or Austin Powers, I think you'll definitely like a show. And yeah, definitely worth watching. Interesting. 
typical cliffhanger, your favourite end of season. Yeah. So I've also been watching Platonic, which you've been watching as well. Yeah. Um, I describe this as kind of a show about not much, but it's still fun to watch. We've watching got, people get into mischief. Yeah, we've got Seth Rogen and um, Rose Byrne, and they are uh, long lost friends from college. They've now kind of gone off and done their separate things. They've had a bit had a falling out a few years prior. He's now uh, separated with his wife. She's still happily married. They decide to become friends again, and they kind of just get up to mayhem, a lot of drunken adventures. and It's fun, but it's not about much, but it's it's fun. It's worth watching. I really enjoy it. What do you think about it? Uh, I, I think it's hilarious watching what sort of stuff they get up to. Really enjoy the gag of um, kicking the bikes in the show. If you watch the show, you'll understand what I mean. And Yeah, that's really funny how that's a funny thing. Is there anything this month that you've, like an older show that you've gone back to revisit? Yes, Lost. I've heard that it's, uh, the ending wasn't good, but it's a really good show and I'm really enjoying it. I haven't been watching it as much because I've been getting into other things, but I'm really enjoying the concept of it, yeah. Mm. Something I saw this month that's been out, came out last year, but now it just came to streaming services, DC Super Pets, which you've seen. Yes. I really, really liked it, and it's actually my um, two-year-old's favourite movie. I think I've watched it about seven or eight times now with him, and I think it's really clever. I think there's a lot of good jokes in there. I especially like when Crypto's imagining that Lois is going to replace him when she gets engaged to Superman, and she's, like, eating from his bowl, and she gets a bone, and I think it's just funny that that's a thing that a dog, because their dog things like, it's just, it's like, it's, it's a very, very clever show, so I quite like it. I saw Transformers, which I believe you're going to go see. Eventually, yeah. Yeah, so that was my first experience to the Transformer universe at all. I don't think I've seen any movies, I've seen no shows or cartoons. Um, don't want to ruin it for you, because you're going to go see it. I was, it was what I expected, but nothing amazing. It was robots fighting robots and humans being there for the sake of being there, not really doing much, but still involved. <laughs> but, you know, as a Transformers fan, you might enjoy it a lot more. I've, I've heard other people review it quite well and say that it was as good as uh, the first um, Michael Bay installment. Mm. Uh, a few new shows have came out this month that we've seen an episode or so of. Um, what, are, what have you seen? What's new? The first spin-off in the Walking Dead universe, because there's going to be free spin-off, is the um, Meg and Jeff D. Morgan uh, spin-off, The Walking Dead City. And I really enjoyed the first episode. I thought it was really good. It, it was very much... It would help if you kept up with the show, but for someone that... I I jumped off since season five, but really enjoyed it. I really liked the concept, and I would definitely recommend watching it. Mm, I want to check it, but I'm in the same boat as you. I, I, yeah. I've seen up to season nine of The Walking Dead, so I've got a couple more to go. And interestingly, uh, I really like the spin-off concept when shows do that, so I think I would like it, but I just need to catch up a little bit. I know you said you could just move on to it and watch it, but yeah. I feel like I'm so close to the end, I may as well give it a go. Well, you've got, you know, six seasons more to go, <laughs> so it's another story. So I would like to get into that. And, yeah, with a few more spin-offs coming, I'm, you know... And The Walking Dead was my favourite show for so, so long. I was yeah. absolutely obsessed with it and suddenly just lost all interest in it. And um, that's kind of upsetting, so I would like to get back into that. And... What's another show that's came out? Secret Invasion really enjoyed the first episode, but I don't think it nailed it as much as Loki did for its first episode, but I think the ceiling for Secret Invasion is actually better than Loki. Yeah, 100% agree. I think it's going to be up there by the end of the season with Loki, but the start wasn't as as good as the first episode of Loki. I think the first episode of Loki was the best episode of Loki, which is you know interesting for a show to do. So one episode out... Uh, we're going to release that today of the um, our review or recap of the first episode, and we'll continue to do that weekly. Yes. As always, if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe, comment down what you've been watching. As always, you're awesome, and keep being awesome, and see you next time. Bye-bye.